So for our classwork today, oh, this is classwork, we're gonna talk about parallel lines. Now, parallel lines we actually haven't talked about, but you know what they are. Parallel lines are two lines that are parallel. So in this case, here is an example of two parallel lines. They are increasing at the same rate, okay? Two lines that are parallel. Actually, what do you know about two lines that are parallel? Well, if they're increasing at the same rate, they actually have the same slope. So two lines that are parallel have the same slope. So this has a zero slope, this has a zero slope. I don't know the slope of this line, but it's increasing at the same rate wherever I pick it. So our first problem says, write an equation of a line that is parallel to y equals 3x plus 2 and passes through the point 4, negative 1. So let me just think about it and see what this is actually saying. I'm going to just quickly sketch a graph, but we're actually going to solve it algebraically. So this is saying, okay, you have an equation of a line which is something like y equals 3x plus 2. So you kind of know that the graph looks like a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of up 3 over 1. Okay, so this graph kind of looks like this, right? And then it says, um, oh, um, what's the equation of a line that passes through the point 4, negative 1? Well, 4, negative 1 is going to be down here. What's the equation of a line that's parallel? Well, if it's parallel to this, you know that it's gonna be having the same slope. So it looks something like this. The only problem is, is that I don't know where on the y-axis it's gonna cross. If I had graph paper, I could probably count it but I don't have graph paper, so we're gonna use it algebraically. So I wanna know what that value is. And if this line has a slope of three over one, what's this slope gonna be? Yeah, it's also gonna be three over one, okay? All right, so let's go with this. Write an equation of a line. So first we go back to an equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. It's parallel to this. If it's parallel to this, then you know that the slope has to equal three. Okay, they have the same slope. So your slope is three. That's the only information you're taking from this. Your slope is three. And it's passing through this point. Well, if this is your point, that's your x coordinate and that's your y coordinate. You're gonna plug these points into your equation. So this is going to be, what number are we plugging in for y? Negative 1. What number are we plugging in for m? 3, our slope. What number are we plugging in for x? 4, and because they're next to each other, it's multiplying. Plus, what number are we plugging in for b? Nope, we don't know our b value. That's what we're trying to figure out. Simplify this, negative 1 equals 12 plus b. Go ahead and solve that, minus 12. Go ahead and we solve this, but the question said write an equation of a line, where equation of a line is going to look like this. So. We need to know our slope, and we need to know our y-intercept. So your final equation, take a minute, write it down. Let's see if you guys got it right. y equals 3x plus negative 13 or minus 13. How many of you guys got it right? Good. Yeah, and you guys have done this before, but the new part that you guys had never done is parallel lines. And then the next um, time we'll actually talk about perpendicular lines. So parallel lines, again, are always running in the same direction, so they have the same slope. Perpendicular lines, well, you know what perpendicular lines do? 
But what does that mean about their slope? Okay, we'll talk about that next time. All right, that's it for today.